Hey folks, it's Nick Granville here. It's been a minute since I've made a video. Um, it's been pretty crazy busy here. Um, we've just sold our house, we're moving to a new house, so it means new studio on the way. So this studio has been awesome. It's been really great having this space I have here. But um, yeah, it looks like I have a bigger space. That's cool. Anyway, here I am today to talk to you about a new um, wireless system that was just sent to me from the good folks at Ibanez. So this is it here. Look at the size of that. That's the whole packaging. Smaller than your, the palm of your hand. Um, it's an Ibanez WS1 guitar wireless system for guitar and bass. Um, so I've tested this a little bit. Um, basically what I did was I checked to see that, uh, that it had what it came with. So I'll start there. Open the box. You get a cord. Right, this is pretty cool because this system is, is wire, uh, a wireless system but it charges. So you, you charge, it's got batteries in each one. So it comes with one USB port at one end that splits out to two, charge the two components at once. Pretty cool. Instead of having to need to muck around with two cables. Then you get the uh, pouch that holds the two parts and they just slide out as such. There's one, there's the other um, pouch, keep that. Keep the box. Oh, and in the box is the manual. I never read these things, so who cares? Um, <laughs> right, and there, as I mentioned, is the cable. But these are really what it's all about, right? If we look at what we have here, we have uh, a pretty simple looking thing. There's a jack plug that bends in and out um, on both of them. They both look almost the same. There's a USB port for charging, and there's a power switch. Um, this, uh, the one says transmitter on the inside, and the other one says receiver. The one that's the, that is the uh, transmitter also says power slash cable tone. I guess that means you can emulate cable sounds, um, you know, as opposed to the direct perfect sound of a wireless, you know, cable kind of roll off some top end. So um, first thing to do always is not look at the manual, because these things I want them to be simple or I'm just not going to use anything that's difficult. So what you do is just push the button, red light comes up on the bottom, which turns green. Right, tell him it's on. Turn the other one on, orangey light turns green. That's it, you're good to go. That's all you have to do. Couldn't be easier. Don't know how long the batteries last, I haven't looked that up yet, but I will put that in the comments. Um, they feel a little plasticky, but it feels solid, hard plastic. I mean, they're not the kind of thing I'm gonna stand on. You know, you put it in the guitar, you leave it there. Um, so I'll put the transmitter, uh, the receiver, into here. Um, by the way, I had planned to take these to a gig, um, but all the gigs are off at the moment because of the whole situation with COVID. So, um, so all the gigs are off at the moment, unfortunately, because of the COVID situation. That's. Uh, wrecking the whole place for all of us, but that's all right, we'll uh, I'll do this anyway. So I want to try it with this guitar, mostly because um, it has this kind of unusual jack that doesn't work with angled plugs, but this fits perfectly because it's only such a small thing, so they've obviously thought about that. So you kind of tuck it out of the way like that where it's not going to get hit. <laughs> I took it outside, so I'm in my studio at the moment. I went out there, went round, still worked. I found I actually had to go, uh, my studio is separate from the rest of the house, so I had to go from the studio, across the deck, which is probably 20 meters, and then into the house and right down the other end before it would actually cut out. Um, which is awesome. I mean, that's one of the big things, is like how well is it gonna receive? Um, it's important because when you think about it, you're, you're never going to be going, having that many walls between you and your amplifier or your pedal board, are you really? I mean, <laughs> um, one thing that's really useful for these that people don't think about with that, um, is that you can set up your sound and then you can jump out the front of the um, gig and go and have a listen by the sound desk and listen to what your guitar sounds like out the front. And if the sound guy's done some crazy EQ, like maybe he's round, wound all the treble up and all the bass off, you know, they, they do that a lot. Um, they, they say they're making room for the bass guitar by taking all the bass out of the guitar. Um, and then your guitar just sounds thin and nasty. We can go out and have a listen and kind of dial it in and get it perfect. 
that is if you have a reasonable sound man. <laughs> feel there's all this freedom, you're not getting, it's kind of like when you go to wireless headphones for, your, for listening to music and you start going, wow, actually, this is kind of, it's sort of liberating to have no wires, right? When, you, when you're going from normal headphones to all of a sudden you can actually move your head without like tangling up on it, it's the same thing with this, it's pretty cool. And not have to think about it. really good like I plugged in uh, this crappy cable I have here which I think is a little planet planet waves thing this thing just sounds like mud compared to it um, I plugged in what I usually use which is Damasio's um, the Damasio cloth covered cables and uh, it sounds just like this it sounds like it um, I don't know if it's on the cable or cable setting or whatever but it just works so pretty cool now the cool thing about these too I think is the price uh, here in New Zealand, I think they retail for $2.99. Um, that's crazy. It's just crazy. I mean, even if you were to break it, just go and buy another one at that price. Um, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're not, it's not, that's about the same as a guitar pedal, and yet it's a wireless system. So anyway, that's the... So anyway, that's the Ibanez WS1 guitar wireless system. So, um, thanks for bearing with me with, through all this. It's been a, a mental time for us. Uh, I've had some gigs, but gigs have generally been quiet, but that's meant I've had time, more time to do stuff around the house and what's needed to be done here. But because I'll have a new studio next year, uh, 2022, that'll mean I'll be able to pump out a whole lot more content. Um, and I've got some um, guitar lessons coming very, very soon, so um, do subscribe and thank you for, to those who have stuck with me. Um, there'll be a heap of new content coming next year. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what I've got, seeing what's going to come out come of 2022. Um, a couple of things that I thought I'd um, do, just a little heads up. One of the first videos I'm going to do is a video on how to get gigs for musicians. Another one I'm going to do is kind of a, a follow-up to the John Schofield lesson, which some of you have seen. Um, I mean, I saw Sko when I was in London. He got me some tickets to go and see his show at Cadogan Hall, I think it's called. Um, and I caught up with him afterwards, and he said that he'd actually watched that video, which I thought was crazy. Um, I said to him, "What did I did I get it right? And was it bad? Did you hate it?" And he said, "Nah, it was really good." So I think it's about time I did a follow up to that one. That'd be great. Um, I'd really like to do a video about Peter Bernstein's playing. He's a he's a friend and also a killer guitar player, someone who I respect a lot and uh, and whose music. Is, has been a big impression on me. So look out for that. Uh, Chris Kane, he's another one I've talked about doing it, looking at his style and his playing. Um, and some general lessons. I haven't done anything really on funk, and that's such a big part of what I do. Um, anyone who's keenly observed will know that, that I have a new pickup in here, so I'll talk about that at some stage. Uh, it's a custom made pickup by a guy here in New Zealand. Um, I kind of love it. Anyway, hope everyone's well. Here's to a better year ahead, eh? 2022 is going to be, be awesome, so take care and I'll see you soon. Cheers.